Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you, breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat. Spoiler alert, they are all must makes. I'm also going to show you how I build recipes and track them in the Trainist app. I've been getting a lot of questions about the app. It is a free calorie tracking app. It is new to the market, but they are bringing out so many new features like weekly check-ins, including photos and weigh-ins and referrals to personal trainers in your area. It's such a great app and it's completely free. So I'm going to show you how I build my meal prep recipes and track them in the app. And I will link the app in the description box for you. If you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every single Monday and I do upload five videos every single Single week. Also in the description box, I will put my recipe website. That is where you can find all of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is how I lost 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Let's head into my kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making cottage cheese egg bites. I'm really excited for this. It's going to be high protein, super delicious. I'll pair this with some type of fruit or carbohydrate. So let me show you what is in our egg bites. So you're going to need light cheese of your choice, a red bell pepper, chives and garlic powder. Cottage cheese, I'm using the Good Culture Cottage Cheese. The recipe actually calls for cottage cheese with chives. So since this doesn't come with chives, I am going to go ahead and add my own. Salt and pepper. You'll need full eggs and egg whites, as well as some fresh baby spinach. The first thing I'm going to do is very finely, and when I say very, I mean very, very finely, chop up spinach and the red bell pepper. So the first thing we're going to do is crack seven whole eggs and three egg whites. And then we're going to whisk those together. This little whisk is from Timu. I love it. It works so good for scrambled eggs or to whisk things together. And we're going to add one cup of cottage cheese, our chives, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. And then give that another whisk. I have my finely chopped up spinach and bell peppers. We're going to add both of those and then whisk those in. Go ahead and spray your muffin tin with some nonstick cooking spray, or you can use a cupcake liner. And then we're going to scoop out 12 egg bites total. I have half of a cup of light shredded cheese. We're just going to top our egg bites with the cheese. We're going to put these in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're cooked through. Our egg bites are out of the oven. They did overflow a little bit. I'm just going to trim them up once they're cooled. I'll go ahead and package them up for the week and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here are the egg bites packaged up for the week. And then I'm actually going to have a serving for breakfast today. A serving is three of them. That is crazy, three egg bites. And again, you can pair this with some fruit. That would be the perfect breakfast. You could have toast with this, whatever you would prefer, but you're going to get in a ton of veggies and protein with three of these egg bites. You will not taste the cottage cheese. It just makes them light and fluffy and airy. It basically melts down like cheese. So if you don't like cottage cheese, this is the perfect recipe for you to get in all of the protein in cottage cheese. So again, three egg bites is one serving. For my lunch this week, I'm making chicken pot pie soup, but I'm actually going to do turkey pot pie soup. I'm going to use the meat that I have in my freezer and I do have a pound of ground turkey. So let me show you what is in our soup. We're going to need all purpose flour, whole milk, minced garlic, light butter, chicken broth, 
salt and pepper, a pound of ground chicken or a pound of ground turkey, whatever your preference is, half of an onion, I'm going to use up the red onion that I have in my fridge, a couple of stalks of celery and some frozen mixed vegetables. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and cook whatever meat you're using. Like I said, you can use chicken, ground or shredded. You can use ground turkey, ground beef, whatever your preference is. So go ahead and get your meat nice and browned. Once your meat is browned, we're going to add in our diced up onion and celery, four tablespoons of light butter, a big heaping scoop of minced garlic, salt and pepper, and then a third cup of flour. And then we want to mix this together until that flour coats everything. And we're going to allow this mixture to cook down until those vegetables are softened. Then we're adding one cup of chicken broth, and we're going to stir this together until the mixture is smooth. You want to make sure that flour is fully incorporated. And then we're slowly adding in our two cups of milk and stirring consistently. We're going to bring the soup to a simmer. Once your soup comes to a simmer, we're adding in our entire bag of frozen mixed vegetables. Stir those in and allow this to simmer for about another 10 minutes. So our soup is done. Look at how amazing that looks. Super, super thick and yummy. What a great source of protein and vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and let our soup cool just a little bit and then I'm going to put it in a storage container for the week and I'll share serving size points, calories, and macros. So here is the chicken or turkey pot pie soup. This entire huge container makes only six serving. I may pair this with some type of carb, like maybe some garlic toast or something that sounds so good or some crackers, but this is going to be the perfect high protein lunch. For a snack this week, I am making homemade crunch bars. Five ingredients. These are basically a peanut butter chocolate topped rice crispy bar, just a little bit healthier version. I cannot wait for these. So let me show you what you'll need. I said it's five ingredients. You'll need rice krispies, some type of sugar-free chocolate chip of your choice, sugar-free maple syrup. You can use butter or coconut oil. I'm going to go ahead and use Kerrygold butter and some peanut butter. I would recommend creamy. So the first thing you're going to do is get a large bowl and we're going to add three cups of rice krispies to the bowl. And then I've added one cup of peanut butter to a small saucepan. I'm going to do one half of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup, one quarter cup butter, and then 300 chocolate chips of your choice. We're going to put this over low heat and allow it to melt. So here's what your peanut butter chocolate mixture should look like. I'm just letting the last little bit of that butter melt. We're going to add this to our Rice Krispies and stir to fully combine. Here is what your mixture looks like. Go ahead and spray an eight by eight baking dish with nonstick cooking spray or line it with parchment. And we're going to add the Rice crispy mix to the baking dish and then spread that out nice and even in the bottom. These smell so good. They remind me of those peanut butter chocolate bars you can buy at a bakery. They smell amazing. And then we're going to place our bars in the refrigerator for one hour or until they're fully set. One hour later. I just pulled the crispy rice bars out of the freezer. These look amazing. I cannot wait to have these all week. I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. joining me for this week's meal prep. Don't forget to check out the Trainist app. Again, it is completely free. It is linked in the description box along with my recipe website where you will find all three of today's recipes, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a successful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.